Hello and welcome to iFontPorter.com. I'm going to show you how easy it is to port fonts to iOS like never before. Now if you're wondering first of all where to find free fonts to port, we made this page that lists dozens of sites that provide just that. I went ahead and downloaded the popular Exo2 font family from Font Squirrel for this demonstration. Once you have the font or fonts you wish to port from, we can now choose which font family in iOS we want to port to. So we go back and click the start button. As you can see there's up to 40 fonts we can choose from. Tons of fonts. The most prevalent font is the system font which from iOS 9 is now the new San Francisco. Previous iOS versions used Helvetica which we can port as well. Note that this version of Helvetica is for iOS 8 and 9 only. So let's go ahead and port our font XO to San Francisco. Here we are provided with two columns which work either or. In the first column we can choose to upload a font for a particular style. However, if we don't want to provide a font for a certain style then we can choose an alternative uploaded font style instead from the drop down menu. So if we upload say the regular font style then we can set for example semi bold italic to use its same style instead of uploading a separate font for semi bold italic. Let me clear this up with an example. Firstly you must always upload the regular font style first even if it's the only font you wish to upload. So let's go do that now. I'm going to choose XO2 regular for the regular style, but I can really choose any font I well please. Now as we do this, all the other font styles will automatically be set to use the same font in the case that we don't upload a different font for those styles. If we wish to, we can go right ahead and click the port button and just port this font. But I'm going to show you how it is to port with as many font styles as we can provide. Since XO2 is a relatively large font family, I should be covered for most of the 17 font styles San Francisco has to offer. For almost every style we upload, the second column will change to select the best alternative style given the fonts we uploaded so far. So I'm going to just do this relatively quickly and you observe the second column as I do so. Next we can change the name of our font if we don't like the one that was automatically generated for us. To me it looks fine. Then we check the capture button and also this button if you agree with the terms of service provided you read them here. And finally we hit the port button. As you can see the background tile image is a random letter selected from a random font you uploaded. Finally we can click the download button. Now we can open the readme file to see what's next to do. It says extract the sound zip file, which we did, and then we transfer it to our iPhone or iPad or iPod via SSH, iPhone Box, iExplorer, or the like. You can Google how to do this. I have iPhone Box to show you here as an example. I already have the swap mode directory bookmarked, but I'm going to show you how to get there. So it's var, as it says here, var mobile library bytefon3 swapped. Mobile library bytefon3 swap mode and then we can transfer this folder here. All right, now I'm gonna show you on the iPad how do you actually use this font. So now with Bytefont 3 installed, we open it up, go to swap mode, click basic, and now we can preview the font, and finally select and respring. And now we have our newly ported font. To show you a bigger example, I've opened up an article in Safari reader mode. And that's that.